to Lawn Chair Social. Uh, today is going to be a special episode. We're going to talk about our, is it our five most favorite or just five quotes that we really, really like? That we really, really, really <laughs> like. Just five quotes that we really, really like. Really, really like? Really, 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 really like. Okay. Because favorite, like, I'm sure there's a bunch of quotes I just forgot about when I went through, you know, finding some. Mm-hmm. So these are just five good, inspirational, feel-good quotes, man. Feel good. Feel good, man. So, some of mine are feel good. My, one of mine is, is not a feel good. You don't feel good? Well, they're all dope, I think. But I didn't know we were doing feel good. Yeah, like inspirational, man. It is inspirational. It inspires you not to be bad. So you feel good? Because you're not bad. Well, we'll we'll see. We'll see. I, I'm curious now. So yeah. You want to start us off then? I'll start us off, and I'll tell you what. You try and figure out which one is the non-inspirational one as we're running through them. Go so, for it. Yeah. So the first one that I liked. So have you watched? The Netflix series, uh, Full Swing. I have not. It's a golf documentary. One of the guys on there, his name is Tony Finau. (laughs) He's a Utah native. So, you know, just because we live in Utah, we're like, oh, it's a a Utah guy. We kind of vibe with him. but So much in common. (laughs) Well, he grew up, like, poor. Mm-hmm. Like they grew up poor. Now he's a PGA, PGA golf player. Yeah. But there was a quote that like really hit me and my wife hard. And the quote is, "They say a winner is just a loser that kept on trying." And like, the thing with Tony Finau, it hit hard because it go it explains that he is. I think they say. Like, along the lines of he's an average pro player he never is really at the top he's not at the bottom but and through the documentary he wins two pga uh tour tournaments back to back which is crazy yeah no that's insane dude yeah so you know they're talking to him and 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 that quote just really hit us because really you know, you did sports, I did sports. And we know that in reality, the guys who are the best just keep trying. Yeah. My freshman year, I didn't, I didn't, I don't think I placed at all. I, I sucked my first yeah. year. Horrible. I could have quit. I could have done any other event, but I decided to stick it through. And by the end of high school, I had a record. So, yeah. It just really resonated with me. No, dude, that's amazing just from an athletic viewpoint. Um, In sports, like, obviously, it's talking about that. Winners are losers that kept trying. But it's like that with life, too. You know, a lot of people who are, in their terms, successful were always that way. Yeah. So I, I really like that. That's cool. Thanks. Yeah. Real quickly... But um, for my quotes, I'm, I kind of followed a theme. And I, out of my five quotes... Is the theme inspiring quotes? Yes, but I mean as in three out of the five are from Disney films. That's fine. And two are songs. Okay. So I just really kept a, two different categories. My first one, this is one that... I guess came from a song, but it's a Disney movie because um, watching the Disney movie it kind of went over my head, and then it was at the end of a song that I really liked. It was just uh, on SoundCloud, dude, just like at the very end of it. I am Moana. <laughs> no, no, no. It is. The past can hurt, but the way I see it, you can either run from it or learn from it. That is Rafiki from The Lion King. And it was just like, it was at the end of a a song, just like randomly, it was like this just dope, like electric dance song, man. And at the end, it just had it. And now I'll show you the song, dude. It's, it's sick, but it's, it was like a sad song. Yeah. And at the end of it, it had that. And 
really just resonates. You know, a lot of people have a lot of, everyone's been through a lot. But everyone can learn from what they've been through in the past. And even though it can hurt, you can learn from it. Yeah. And I think that's a great mentality to have. Oh, um, a lot of things obviously are hard to move past. You know, I'm not going to, you know, judge anyone for that if it's hard to move past something. Yeah. Uh, but always try to learn from the past. From the yeah. past and it'll help in your future. That's a dope quote. Yeah. That's a good one. That is a good one. You ready for number two? Yeah. Failure is acceptable. Giving up is not. So. Where's that from? Pretty good, huh? Yeah. So it's from a game. It's from a video game. I love, I love playing games. You know, I just grew up with them. I think they're my safe space. Mm -hmm. Growing up in the house I did, they were very, I, I loved my video games. So it comes from a robot who gained sentience mm -hmm. and became a monk. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, anybody who knows this game will know exactly who I'm talking about. But it's a, it's a, it's a shooter. Mm -hmm. You die a lot. And I remember playing and that one line hit and I was like, dang, you can, it, it goes hand in hand with the first one. Yeah. You can fail all you want. The moment you give up, it's over. Yeah. So, like, for me, I was like, I shouldn't be afraid to fail. You know? Yeah. You need to just keep at it. Keep going. You can't. You just can't give up. Yeah. No, that's a great mentality to have, honestly. Yeah. It's like that with anything, dude. Like, it could be sports. It could be schooling. It can be, you know, heading for a promotion or something. It could be a job. Yeah. So, I like that. Yeah. All right, next one I have. A little bit longer one. Oh, boy. If the sun don't shine on me today and the subways flood and bridges break, will you lay yourself down and dig your grave or will you rail against the dying day? What is that from? It's really beautiful, huh? That is from Sleep on the Floor by the Lumineers. Lumineers are my... Favorite modern band. Like, I've seen them live once. I'm going to their concert again this year, and they're just incredible live. But I love the storytelling in their songs. Mm -hmm. And this song specifically is a love song about running away and, like, with your love and, like, just taking that leap of faith. Yeah. Really. And it's my all time favorite love song. If you haven't heard it, definitely go watch it. Go watch the music video, it is amazing. And that specific um, quote they've used in uh, like other songs too. This is like peak poetry, man. I love it so much. I think it's us. That's a good one, yeah. I think it's great. There's a lot of good, good one-liners in songs. I feel because yeah. it just the time to listen. Yeah, talking like when the floods come in, dude, which can be so many different things in life. Yeah. Emotions, problems. Um, problems with work, relationships, uh, family. And so you can either just like turn yourself down into your grave and just give up, or you can rail against the day, you know? Yeah. And it's just like, it's such a simple meeting, you know? Just oh, yeah. written beautifully. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good quote. <laughs> All right, Go so on. my next one, it's desperation can bring out the demon in the best of men. Is that the, is that the one you were saying, like, does yeah. that feel good? Yeah. Well, there's, now that I'm looking at them, I'm like, mm, maybe that's not the only one. So that one's spoken by Jin Sakai, mm -hmm. who is a, who is like one of the last samurai in the game Ghosts of Tsushima, great game, beautiful game. It's, it's just beautiful. Premises, you're a samurai, and I, I forget who invades Japan. Basically kills everybody. You survive somehow. And it's crazy because throughout the game you do things that are 
not traditional to the samurai way. Mm -hmm. So throughout the game, you find, I think, your father and he like brings it down on you and what are you doing? You're not, this is not the way, this is not what I taught you. And I just think, you know, how many people do you know that have not gone crazy, but have neglected the most basic things in their life to pursue their dream? Nothing wrong with pursuing your dream. Yeah. My last two quotes are, are about perseverance, but this one is like perseverance and moderance. Yeah. And moderation. Because, yeah, go for your dream, but don't neglect your your relationships, yourself, others. Yeah. Now, do you ever seen The Greatest Showman? No. So it's about the, um, I forget his name, drawing a blank, but the guy that started the circus, basically. Mm -hmm. And it's literally what you just explained, man. He wanted to be successful and provide for his family, but that drive and passion he had to just be with, because this is back in like, I don't know, late 1800s or something, early 1900s, he wanted to be with the upper class so bad that he created something magnificent that drew in a ton of money while just completely neglecting his family, man. And you see the separation with, from him with his wife and his kids and he grows apart so much mm -hmm. and it all just like falls down on him. And in the end, he like finally realizes like what was important and stuff. Great movie, yeah. you should watch it. It's Hugh Jackman. Zendaya, Zac Efron. Maybe I will. It is, it is a musical, so if you're not into that, it's not for you, but the music's really great. It's like modern. All right. Doing nothing often leads to the very best kind of something. Winnie the Pooh. From, I, I believe it's in uh, like the books, but um, most recently in Christopher Robin, the movie with mm -hmm. Ewan McGregor. Growing up, as a baby, as a kid, Winnie the Pooh was my favorite, dude. I freaking loved it, and I still do. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's cute. I think it's fun. It's inspiring in the most simplest and childish of ways, and that quote is just so great. That sometimes you need to just take a step back, take a breather, and great things can come of it. And it's so great in the movie as well. It's kind of what the whole movie concept is about. Yeah. That something great can come from nothing, and. Yeah, sticking with my Disney theme, dude. You're Disney I'm, not, I'm no Disney adult, but I do love it. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I forgive you. Okay. My next one is, this one's a little more rough around the edges. This is your life, and it's ending one minute at a time. It's a, oh, it's a fight club quote. Oh. Fight Club, I gotta watch it. Yeah. We talked about it, and I yeah. gotta watch it. It's great, and that movie has a lot of one-liners. The biggest thing, the biggest takeaway for me was, it really is, what are you doing with your life? Are you just, there's nothing wrong with a chill day. Yeah. Nothing no, wrong absolutely. with kicking back, being lazy. But it's also good to take a step back and, really like analyze man analyze and make sure your life is headed where you want it to be yeah you know tomorrow could be your last day yeah your last day could be 80 years from now but one thing's for sure is it's this is your life and it's ending one minute at a time yeah no dude every every day we should try to better ourselves in some way whether it's little or just like learning something new or if it's something huge like, you know, going for your bachelor's, going for a job promotion, learning something new like watching a YouTube video on programming, yeah. photo editing, you know, pick up a camera, go take some photos, dude, maybe you're be a great photographer, like just bettering yourself. Yeah. And I mean, it's one thing we take away from life and it's knowledge. So, oh, yeah. Just go on, learn something new, man. Better yourself. Start a podcast. Start a podcast. Start a podcast. It's, it's not hard. It, it's hard to meet up, but they it's make it hard. easy to record them. And oh, yeah. yeah. Look at us. Look at us. Look at us. <laughs> All right. Another, another Disney one. 
A lot of people don't know this is a Disney movie, but a gold medal is a wonderful thing. But if you're not enough without it, you won't be enough with it. That's from Cool Runnings. And even though it's talking about specifically an Olympic gold medal, mm -hmm. it deals with so much more. If you're striving for some huge goal of your masters, starting a family, finding a, a boyfriend or girlfriend, that's like your goal, that's what you're reaching for. And you think your life is gonna be so much better with it. If you're not enough without it, you won't be enough with it. Yeah. Like you need to make sure that you work on yourself because once you reach that goal, a lot of them can be disappointing in that end. And that's what that quote, like, um, if you've seen the movie, the leader of the team is asking their coach who cheated in his Olympic games to, you know, get gold. He cheated and he was saying like, you know, he, he couldn't not win. Yeah. And the guy's like, but you, you had it all coach. Like, why'd you let it go? And he's like, if you're not enough without it, you won't be enough with it. And it's just like, if you've seen the movie, it's super funny, huge comedy, but that one scene dude, is so serious and just holds so much weight. Yeah. It's just like Spider-Man and Iron Man. Yeah, no, exactly. Dude, if you're not enough with, with the, suit. the suit, you won't be enough without it, man. Deals with a lot, man. Deals Ties with... into a lot. It's life. That's life, man. All right. Here's my final quote. I think you'll like this one. Okay. If you only do what you can do, you will never be more than who you are. You gotta say that again, man. What was that? If you only do what you can do, you will never be more than who you are. Jeez, man. It's Master Shifu. <laughs> That's awesome. Dude, wow. That's a good one. Yeah. It makes you think a lot, like, still trying to wrap my head around, like, all of that, man. It's crazy. It's... I, I don't know why I hit... I pick such, like, heavy hitters, but... It's... I think in that movie, you know, Poe's just constantly doubting himself. Yeah. It's only when he realizes he goes above and beyond that he can be more. And really, it's... We don't know our limits until we try and break them. Mm -hmm. And we'll never be different if you never do anything different. That's true. I like that. Try new things, man. Push yourself. Yeah. You'll never know. All right. Last one for me, ending with a, another song. This one I love as well. Very simple. You're already home where you feel loved. It is from The Head and the Heart, their song Lost in My Mind. Great song. If you haven't heard it, I would recommend it. And it's just a great reminder that where you feel loved is like where your home should be. It's the same, same thing as, you know, home is where the heart is. Yeah. Kind of just reverse though. Where you feel loved is your home. So like find where you're comfortable, find people that you know love you, and... What if I'm loved at the restaurant, bro? Like, what if I'm a chef? That's your freaking home, then. That's your home. You can't sleep in a restaurant. I don't mean literal home, man. Just Come on. Man. Come on. <laughs> your but... safe space. No, yeah, safe space, man. Find it. For a lot of people, it's yeah. with the family. For a lot of people, it's not. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah. My home is on the water. Yeah. Well, that's not where I feel love, but that's where I feel at peace. Yeah. You know. Here's the thing, like, do you feel like your wife loves you? Yeah, I hope she does. <laughs> so what it means is just like, if you feel loved from her, it's a safe space, that's your home. You're hanging out with your friends. If you feel like they care about you, they love you. That's my wife space, that's like your home. Sure. Because wherever she goes, it's right. <laughs> Alright, man. I'm just... I'm all just, right, all right. I'm Inspirational. Just, turn into a joke. I see how it is. It's, I'm not joking. I'm just 
applying the concept to my life. And that's a great thing with all these quotes, man. Take them and apply them to your life. Yeah. Pick an inspirational one, not a hardcore one. Or pick a hardcore one. Or just pick a fun one. It doesn't even matter. You don't even pick a quote. Just live your life. Quotes by Kevin. Monkey. Master Uguay. No, wasn't he the turtle? Master Uguay? Yeah. Yeah. But when when Monkey, like... Oh, Master Uguay okay, rescues him? I thought him. you were saying the monkey was. I was like, what? Why did you help me? And he goes, monkey. I'm sure there's more, but the meme is he just says monkey. Now, normally in this podcast, it's totally fine when we go off topic, but I think we're just somewhere. I don't even know what we're talking about anymore. We're in limbo. We're in podcast limbo. Podcast limbo, dude. Speaking of limbo, you've seen Inception? Yeah. I love that movie. Top 10. Probably. Question. Yeah. Does the top topple or does it keep spinning? Absolutely topples, man. Absolutely. I don't know. Absolutely. It topples. I don't think it does. I don't think I don't think it does. I think it does. Because in the like when you're in the dreams and you know people are around you like if he was in limbo himself, the others around him wouldn't be there. But he wasn't in he wasn't in limbo. He hopped out. He got out. But he went back down into limbo to save the the rich dude that like was gonna pick, like allow him to get back into the states. Anyways, we're off topic. Well, thank you guys for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed these quotes. Um, please leave a comment or send us your favorite quote. Love to hear them. We'll read them if there's enough. We'll read them. We'll talk about them. Yeah. We'll rate them. Top 10. <laughs> That'd be sad, man. Someone sends in a quote where like, that sucked. Yeah, well, that's what you <laughs> said about Spider-Man 3 and my Spider-Man. My ranking of Spider-Man 3 is way higher than yours was. If yeah. I were to rank that movie out of 10, it'd be a 4.5. That's rude. If I were to rewatch it, it'd probably be higher, but... All right, well, we haven't talked about this in a in a while, but Launcher Social is about late night conversations. Right now, it is almost midnight, so we are literally having a late night conversation where it can just go off rails and be pure. It feels late night. Yeah, getting a little tired. So I think, I think we'll end it. I think, yeah, it's a good stopping point. We uh, appreciate you guys coming and listening. We hope to see you guys next week. Because long chairs are